You feel the influence of none other than Ernest Hemingway. He ate in this restaurant, La Terraza. He fished in the waters behind me. He walked the streets here. He even wrote about Kohimar's very own Old Man in the Sea. Now, there's a classic piece of American literature, but I doubt when Hemingway sat down to write it that he said to himself, gee, I think I'll write a classic piece of American literature that'll be required reading of all American school children and we'll make a movie out of it starring Spencer Tracy. It's just that the legend sort of grew. Legends have a way of doing that, sort of like the Ernest Hemingway legend itself. Okay, Hemingway buffs, where do we begin? At Kohimar, where Hemingway was inspired to write The Old Man in the Sea? Maybe here in Old Havana, where he waited for a bus and first thought of growing a gray beard. I think he did that right here, I'm pretty sure. We could take you to the place where Hemingway first decided that all the Hemingway girls ought to have names beginning with a letter M. Margot, Mariel, Marina. Party animal that he was, it was here in the Malecon where Hemingway first discovered that, hey, the sun doesn't only set, the sun also rises. He was so excited, he wrote a book about it. You know, it doesn't take very long to realize that this island isn't big enough to hold all the places where Hemingway was supposed to have done this or that. There are as many places as Hemingway did so-and-so as there are people who say they saw Babe Ruth call his shot during the 1932 World Series. And let's face it, Wrigley Field doesn't hold a million fans, and Hemingway, if he were alive today, would keel over from exhaustion trying to do all the things he was supposed to have done while he was here in Cuba. Now, this little bit is true. It was here at El Floridita where Hemingway ordered his daiquiris. And it was here at La Bodeguita del Medio that he lapped up his mojitos, a perky little concoction that turns your brain into something resembling the consistency of spackling compound. Now, these t-shirts that they make here bear witness to the fact. It says, my mojito in La Bodeguita and my daiquiri in El Floridita. And it's signed by Ernest Hemingway. And it really is. Now, personally, I don't drink, so therefore I'm depriving myself of what has now become a traditional, legendary Cuban delicacy. On the other hand, I'm also avoiding a giant Excedrin headache. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have used the brand name, but that is, after all, the same aspirin that Hemingway used.